should be on within the next five minutes. It's just loading up. It's a wee bit ill. It's a wee bit onged. <laughs> um, hello to Lorna Kirk watching in Norwich. Uh, Malcolm and Joan Mackenzie. Hello. Uh, nice to see you on uh, Facebook there this evening. And we've got uh, Donald Todd. Donald's got a very special birthday tomorrow. A very special birthday. And we'd all like to wish Donald a very happy birthday. I'm sure you can all join in and wish him a happy birthday. And thanks, John. It was John that pointed it out. So I actually have a confession. Before I started playing today, I um, I actually had a good nap. <laughs> I could put an hour and a half sleep. So here we go. Um, here we go. YouTube. Um, hello. Okay. Here we go. Here's a link for. I think <laughs> it's Gremlin tonight, Friday the 13th. It's not letting me post my uh, my YouTube link here. Um, if someone else is on YouTube uh, and you're able to post it, that would be great. <laughs> or just search for Ewan Galloway. It should come up. Right, here we go. On in the music. Is that it? Is that the confession? Yes, that's the confession. I had a nap. <laughs>
we go. It's certainly warm. It's warm tonight. Um, I've had the fire on all day as well, so that's why Tigers probably go sleep for half the night. <laughs> um, and this jumper will be coming off very shortly. Um, what is the dram tonight, says Stephen? Well, I've not touched it yet. It's sitting there waiting. Um, I did say that Friday night is the night for a dram. Wild Rose of the Mountain and the Virginia Reel. Autumn Leaves. Ooh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, I'll try my best. Um, Jimmy, um, just worked out that I can use my Bluetooth headphones and I can dance all around the house without disturbing my classical fan neighbours. <laughs> that would be a... That's quite interesting. Imagine looking through the window, dancing away and no music playing. <laughs> uh, hi, Tom. Tom Woods there. Down in, is it, it's Preston area, isn't it? Lancashire or something. Hope that you're keeping all right and looking forward to seeing you play another great video. The Atoms playing another video. They've done a great version of Johnny Cash. Just getting warmed up. Um, so Mike Murray's the next request, which is a Virginia reel, and then we'll have the Wild Rose of the Mountain. It's it, it's, it's, um, that one, I think. Um, yeah, let's see what happens here. Okay, bear with me two seconds. I'm going to take my jumper off. Close your eyes, tiger. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, this is a great um this is a great t shirt that I got from Susan and Simon. It's, you can't see it, but it's it says best cat dad. Um I think Tiger agrees. Gotta face, gotta face the audience a wee bit more. So showing them that bum. I don't see your bum. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Katrina likes a, a name that tune test. Oh, our waltzes have uploaded. Great. Okay. Okay. Right, so the next one was for Norman and Moira up in Lago Ward. Norman had a great birthday on Wednesday, I hope. And, uh Here's the, here's the wild rose off the mountain. That was for Norman and Moira. Just checking that it's actually working properly tonight. <laughs> uh, technology's uh, good when it works, but not good when it's not working. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, sticking with the waltzes, but not so much a modern waltz this time. This is a selection of Scottish sing-along waltzes. And uh, the reason that I'm playing this next set is for Donald Todd. I did say it was his birthday tomorrow, and I know that he likes singing a few Scottish waltzes. Uh, so we'll start with the Ongs Me Ong Mill. Uh, here we go. Ah. I did wonder, I wasn't sure if Norman and Moira, if you were on, on Wednesday or not, but I'm glad that you managed to catch it after, um, and I'm glad you had a good birthday. <laughs> That's a real. Try again. There was beer in the bubbles, or the bubbles in the beer. We got a wee selection of sing along tunes there for our Donald Todd, who's tuned in tonight and having a great birthday tomorrow. Wishing you all the very best, Helen Bailey's Chocolate Tiffin. <laughs> <laughs> that looks amazing. Mm. Mm. I, I've not had a, I've not had my postie all week apart from your parcel, Helen. Nothing else has arrived at all. 
Uh, it's really weird. Oh, now Douglas requested uh, one for the kids. That was it. I'm glad you asked me, Douglas, because my memory's getting my memory's getting on. Um, <laughs> it's amazing how my mind works because I can't remember what I done yesterday, but I can rem <laughs> if someone asked me to play a tune, I can remember it. I just don't don't understand how. Hope things better tonight. Uh, oh, sandwiches are ready. Uh, Anne, Anne's got past the sandwiches around, ladies and gentlemen. Jill's been very busy in the kitchen. Um, made them last week, then something happened and I had to listen to Saturday morning instead. No one else was there, so I've eaten all the stale ones myself. Oh, <laughs> Gary Tate was, uh, if I remember rightly, Gary Tate was really struggling last week to get a sandwich. There was none, on, none available, um, but I bet you'll be over the moon tonight, Jill. Thanks very much for making them. And uh, Fiona Nicklin, if, you, if you're looking for any fresh homemade bread, Fiona Nicklin does a home, homemade loaf. Uh, so if you want to combine efforts, you could have a wee sandwich club going on here. Right, One for the Kids by Graham Mitchell. Let's see if I can remember it. You're not chucking sandwiches about the place, you lot. <laughs> Make a right mess. Uh, more tea, please, Vicar. <laughs> uh, yes, Daniel departs us tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you will see my post earlier on today, uh, playing the Pirates for Daniel. He departs and he goes somewhere rather warm, but we can't tell you where because he's a bit like 007, I guess, if you're in the forces. You can't see where you're going. Um, but wishing you safe seas and uh, take care. Um, Isle of Innisfree, is that Isle of Innisfree? That's different to Isle of Tyree, isn't it? Um, Isle of Innisfree. Uh, let's see if anything comes up here, if I search for some sheet music. Oh yes, uh, uh, da, da, da. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is a new one for me. Um, <laughs> it's all good knowing the, the, the tunes and trying to work out. Uh, Marissa asked what keyboard this was. It's a Tyros Free. Um, Belonged to Robert Atkinson, and uh, Robert's got the Tyros 5. He's got the, it's even bigger than this, but what a piece of kit. Um, it's really good fun, and I'm looking forward to Christmas because there's loads of great Christmas stuff in here, and I like Christmas. And uh, the background, the next background setting will probably be St. Andrew's, uh, and then after that, it'll be into Christmas, which I'll de decorate probably on the first this year because I've got nothing else on. Last year, um, last year I was holding off because I had so many gigs and we waited till about the seventh or something. But this year, it's been a waste 2020, so we're just going to go for it. <laughs> Good evening to Andy Moyer as well. Andy's joined us on YouTube, and uh, nice to see you on there, Andy. Hope that you're keeping well. So here we go, a new one for me: the Isle of Inish Free. Um, was okay for you. Um, I never, I couldn't look at any comments there because um, I was that busy reading the music. <laughs> Daniel O'Donnell sung this one. Oh, Daniel O'Donnell. That's not how he speaks, by the way. Um, <laughs> this piece is from The Quiet Man. Yeah, I don't know that one, Elaine, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hi, uh, hello to Sandy Main. 
tuned in from Burghead, lovely to have you. And Ian says that takes him back a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, now, Vi said, have you ever played the Bonnie Swans or Crikey? Now, that tune came up as a request today on Radio GH. And I typed it in on the database and up it appeared. Um, I've not played it, but now that I know where it is, it's on my list. Uh, seems like Pike there from Dad's Army. And your name shall also go on the list. What is it? Don't tell him, Pike. Um, <laughs> Mark says, large gin, please, Jill. And a corned beef and ketchup sandwich as well. I didn't know Jill, Jill was doing gin as well, is she? Well, in that case, uh, cheers, <laughs> cheers, Jill. Um, hi, Kev Smith. Kev asked for that last one there, so thanks for asking for it, Kev. Glad you enjoyed it. We request for a Gallic waltz, Callan Maroonsa there. Eh, Callan Maroonsa. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a there's words for that Kate and it's Callum Mine Lotion. It's good for your skin. You rub it in circles and <laughs> something else. You can buy it in bottles or even a tin. <laughs> you rub it in circles and something, something, something. Um I'll need I'll need to get them and let them let you know them. Anyway. <laughs> Got the memory going. <laughs> uh, leaving Glen Urquhart. Oh my goodness, Sai. What are you doing to me? <laughs> what are you doing? I 
think you might have to get Susan to scan that in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nail it, nail it, nail it. It could be in this pile. I'm actually looking for something else. <laughs> can you do postage jig? Yes, we can. That's a, a much easier request, Gary. Thanks very much for saving me. I think I might have a holiday up there in Shetland soon. <laughs> yes, uh, sometimes I do think I'm still looking for a secretary. There's so much stuff here to sort out. But I'll get there, I'll get there. Oh. Um. <laughs> Watching and scared for this Glenn Urquhart coming in. That's good. Take some sight reading. Um, I'm just having a quick. I hope you're all enjoying Jill's sandwiches. Thanks very much to Jill for making them sandwiches. We were speaking to you, someone the other day, and we were thinking about reintroducing the raffle at some point. Um, so you can let me know if you're looking for a useless prize. Or you'd like to donate a useless prize virtually, of course. You don't have to actually send it to me. Imagine that. It'd be like Steptoe's Yard in here if I, t if I took all the useless prizes. <laughs> or an old Ford Cortina or something rusting in the garden. Um, Susan says, I wait to find a better copy. Oh, my goodness me. Um... I'm just looking for a wee bit of music here that Graham actually sent me, and also someone else. Uh, yeah, mum's got her ho mum's got her hotel booked for, well, our our apartment booked for Shetland next year. I hope you've all got your apartments booked and so go support the 
Shetland Accordion and Film Festival next year because it's going to be fantastic. I think there's going to be lots of people going up. I think it's going to be really busy because everyone is going to be celebrating and making up for the music that we lost this year. Uh, and again, hopefully me and Derek will be doing a, a wee uh, show in February time. Um, right. Okay. Um, set of um, Shetland reels this time for Irene. And then we'll go play a tune by Alan Barnett, who is with us tonight. Alan, uh, nice to see you on, and I uh, hope that you're well. Um, we'll play your, your lovely waltz tonight. Um, and first of all, though, I'm just going to play some Shetland reels. The beer tonight is a lovely Birra Moretti from Italy, made in Edinburgh. Work that out. It doesn't make any sense, does it? And someone earlier on said that the sound's that good she can hear the bubbles in my beer. Well, about two seconds after this, I'll go flat. <laughs> my old man, the dustman, he wears a dustman's bag or hat. <laughs> right, Shetland Jones, here we go. Um, uh, shout out to Rory. Rory's joined us again. I, I was speaking to mum about uh, two musicians here, Kenneth and Rory, and saying how great it is. Have you got your accommodation books, you and John Anderson says, no, John, I need to, I need to, um, you know, speak to you. Um, and with that new fancy car, I reckon that the the, the, <laughs> the lift from the airport to Larwick will be a lot quicker this time. Uh, <laughs> whizzing about in that flying machine. Um, but yeah, I'll be in touch, John, definitely. Um, if the offer's there, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hint, hint. Um, yeah, I've stayed with John in Shetland for the Shetland Festival for about five years. Uh, the last two, I stayed with Larry and Beth last year, lovely couple and well looked after. And I can't remember where I stayed before that. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
nearly got there. <laughs> Lots of people going on about the. Uh, was it the foot? <laughs> should I say this? Was it the football or was it rugby? I don't. I'm not really a big sports person. I'm afraid. Um, but I know that Scotland won. So why? Um, right. Okay. Um, the next one is a lovely. Uh, this is a lovely piece of music that uh, was sent to me by Iris, and it's called Anne Marie Wonks, written by Andrew Hewson. Um, no. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to play another waltz. Before I forget, I told you the memory is going. It's uh, Robbie and Esma's waltz. And hopefully this will give you time to join in Alan. This is from Alan Barnett's book, and you can buy this book from Peter Wood in Shetland. Robbie and Esma's waltz, written for Robbie Shepherd. Um, lovely tune. And we'll come back to your one. Um, Iris, because I, oh, it's in this, it's in front of me, so I'll not forget. <laughs> And Esma's Waltz, written by Alan Barnett. And uh, a lovely tune. And if you've not got his book uh, and you know a musician, then maybe you could buy his book and pass it on for Christmas. Donald says, great show tonight. You and you're a star. Thank you very much, Donald. And you're just a star as well. You have a great birthday tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Moira and Norman says, you could keep your empty beer bottle for the raffle. Yeah, we'll need to find some lots, lots of um, random, useless objects for the raffle. In fact, I'm going to set you, I'm going to set all of you a challenge. Um, uh, that's Daniel away. Uh, good night, Daniel, pal. Safe journeys, and uh, we'll catch up when you're back. Like I said, lots of beer when you get back. Um, your challenge is to find a useless object, whether that be on Google or in your own home. Take a picture of it and send it to me, and I will put them into some forthcoming raffles. And uh, as long as Anne Smith's happy to do the raffle tickets again, uh, Anne, Anne can do the raffles. Um, right. Susan sent me a picture here. Is it is it one picture? 
Is it just the one page? Big blue book of doom. This is Annie's blue book of doom. It should be not the big blue book of doom, because it's got six eights, two fours, and all sorts of stuff in it. But I think at the back of this, I think I hand wrote. I think I hand wrote leaving Glen Arkham. and I'm, <laughs> it might just be a bit easier than try. Um, thinking of another tune. They all sound the same. See, I'm going sympathi I'm sympathising with Annie here. All two, four matches are the same. I feel like there's a page missing here, Susan. <laughs> change from one tune to another uh, without combining the PDFs. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> You've been... Morag McCall's just... Uh, <sighs> what have you done, Morag? <laughs> right, okay. Concentration face is on. Thanks to Susan and Morag for the lovely music of Leaving Glen Urquhart. A 2-4 match. And at this point, it's past 10. Slunge of art. See what happens. Thank <laughs> you. 
Glenn Urquhart and the, the Man from Sky. The Man from Sky and Facts Again, Susan and Morag uh, sending me dots. There's another dot, dot, dots all over the place now. Um, <laughs> dots here, dots there. I'll be seeing dots. Uh, close that. Close that, close that. Uh, hello to Stephen C on YouTube. Stephen's asked for Bonnie Galawa. And uh, where's my video gone now? Um, there it is. Uh, no, I've not played the tune Iris has sent me. Um, I'll do it now. Just remind me to play Bonnie Galawa for Stephen on YouTube. Because unfortunately, I don't see all the comments on one page. Yet. They, they like to sort of disappear here and there. Um, um. Um. Okay, uh, this is a tune. Uh, thank you very much to Iris for sending me. A set of six, eight matches for Grandad Bill. He's just filled up the grouse. Mm. <laughs> Cheers, Bill. Have a good one. And I've got your message, by the way. I've just not got back to you yet, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. And drinking this lovely Buna Hammon tonight, I'm going to say thank you to Barbara Herriot from Downkeef and say thank you very much. Cheers. Can't be a good Buna Hammon. Lovely. <laughs> Right, um, this has got kind of a, to me, personally, it's got kind of a Scandinavian, Norwegian type sound. Um, don't know if that's meant to be or not. But it's the Anne-Marie Walt. We'll start that again. Because the, the, the first note's on the beginning of the bar. Normally you get a lead, lead in. Right? Thank you. 
lovely tune called Anne Marie Waltz, written by Andrew Hewson. And uh, thanks, Iris, for sending me that, because it is, it's a really bonny tune. Really bonny tune. Okay, Grandad says six, eight matches as he pours himself. Is that a trip to Belgium that I've been offered? Or everyone, everyone's been offered a trip to Belgium by the looks of it. If you all want to come to Belgium, me, me, me. Right, everyone, we're all going to Gary Tate's house once this lockdown's over. Uh, trip to Butte, unfortunately, I don't have the music for that one, I'm afraid. Sorry. Um, I'll have to find it. <laughs> Now, there's so many requests, it's really hard to try and keep up with it all. Um, but at the same time, it's nice to just give a wee mixture of music. Um, someone asked me, well, in fact, a few people have mentioned, will I be publishing any sort of dance list for Hogmanay? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, uh, the reason is I'm going to keep it exactly the same format as it has been all year. That's my plan. Uh, although I might have a few surprises up my sleeve with some guests. Who knows? It depends on restrictions. Um, hi to Eileen Scott and Ian Robertson, who are out in Tenerife right now. And uh, they're out there till December. Uh, it's probably the best place they can be right now. Enjoy it. Have fun and just stay safe and uh, relax. Enjoy the weather. Um, but for Hogmanay, what it'll be is if you want a dance, then just ask and I'll, I'll, I'll play it. Just like Anne Rob said there, could you please play The Meeting of the Waters? And uh, and as Anne asked for a meeting of the waters, here's the meeting of the waters. <laughs> Thank you. 
for Anne Rob, the meeting of the waters. I had to chuckle at Sheila's comment saying, you timed that just right. Um, yes, perfect. As soon as I finish a tune, I tend to look at the screen and see what's there. Okay, the next one is for Robert Dodds, and it is my, uh, and then we'll do Dancing Fingers as well. I need to get the music up for that. Uh, this one's for Robert Dodds and Dunbar. Robert, cheers, pal. <laughs> Shh, don't tell Yvonne, don't tell Rona, and don't tell David. Shh, it's a secret. Um, <laughs> Robert's tuned in. Robert's over there. I see you. I'm watching you. Um, as long as you're enjoying the show, pal. Robert's one of my bestest pals, and he's uh, tuned in, and his favourite is The Dark Island. And when someone like Robert enjoys the Dark Island so much, it makes it all the more worthwhile of playing. Cheers, Robert Dodds. Thank you very much, uh, and uh, that was to Robert Dodds. <laughs> That's to Robert Dodds in Dunbar, and Robert uh, raised the glass as well. Cheers. <laughs> Shh, don't, don't tell them. Uh, who's looking after you tonight, Robert? Is it Rona, David, or Yvonne, or someone else? <gasps> Marissa says, quick steps. 
Oh, I need to do Bonnie Gallo as well. <laughs> Let's try this. I've just had a coffee and cake to keep me awake until the morning. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's a good job I had a nap this afternoon, isn't it? Um, right, here we go. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out, uh, Marissa. See what happens. I'm just going to make these up as I go along. that I remember I'm telling you it's hard to remember all these uh, was Dancing Fingers <laughs> Dancing Fingers that's a very Scottish Dancing Fingers <laughs> Margaret Gardner Behave Yourself song <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> there we go. Next up uh, is Miss uh, the Miss Miss Ellie Wallace. Um, it's a waltz here, sent to me by Alex Alex Lyle. Uh, I hope I've got that right. Um, it's written by James Coots back in April 2005. Uh, lovely piece of music. <laughs> another one, another one to get the sight reading going. <laughs> I did have a wee look at it today. Actually, maybe bigger on my computer screen. Um, let's have a wee look here. Yeah, I'm going to read it off my computer screen, it's better. Because um, there's a lot of runs in it. Yeah. James always James always writes a good tune. Um, it's just it may be a bit more difficult to play. <laughs> um, Have a wee shot of this, here we get on Alex. Um, of tunes but a really nice tune. Um, every time I turn Facebook on I get funny messages and it's always Gary Tate's name that pops up. The last one was you're all invited to Belgium. The next one was can I send you my address Helen? <laughs> Is there something? What, what's going on here? Um, <laughs> thanks Marion Didsbury uh, for tuning in. I'm glad you've enjoyed the music. Much appreciated. Um,
How do I get a hold of the Lockdown CD? If you go to youngalloway.co.uk, there's a wee shop now. I've updated the home website. Um, it took me about three and a half hours. Uh, hi to Margaret and John Lambert, lovely to see you. And uh, David King uh, also joining us. Um, <laughs> Gary says cakes now. We want cake. We want cake. Okay, uh, and Ailey Wallace is tuned in. There you go. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, <laughs> I'm in a, in a way, I'm glad that you said hello after because I would have probably panicked even more. <laughs> but it's a great tune and uh, something that you should be very proud of and I'm sure you are. Okay, uh, I'm going to do one tune and then I'm going to have a quick respite. Um, I'm sure you all know what that is. Oh, there's Una Simpson arriving with the latest delivery of cheese from Shetland. Lovely to see you. Um, let's have a pygmy's poker. <laughs> Gentlemen, I will be back with you once I have had a wee respite uh, in about two minutes. Thanks for listening, and uh, here's a big picture of Tiger just to keep you there. Although he's sound asleep in the chair next to me. Yeah, people are waiting on you playing a tune. <laughs> Look into the eyes. Tiger keeps his throws away. That's what he does. To write a song, please. I'm off to my request <laughs> and my request before bed. Okay, I'm not very good at this, Helen. Um, in fact, I've got someone to sing it for me. Someone's going to sing this for me, because I'm rubbish at it. And Rory's going to drum it. <laughs> I think it's just the same as Rory, so just, I'll just make up the
Are we singing it here for you? Come on, Travis, get out of the way, Travis. Hey. I'll sing worse, Helen. Here's an old Alexander Brothers one. Bill will probably um, curse and swear or say something at this point, Bill, you and Grandad Bill, because um, I know that you're not so keen on this one, but it's a lovely tune. And I'm sure Jean will sing it to you, because it's a nice tune. Can Mrs. Piggy sing? Kirby, come here right now, Kirby! Kirby, the frog, there's something going on in the kitchen! Yes, Mrs. Piggy? What is it? What's going on in the kitchen? Kirby, the bacon's cooking! The bacon's cooking! Miss Piggy, I'm just a moment. Miss, Miss Piggy, I'm just going out at a moment. I'll, I'll come back soon. Thank you. <laughs> daft. Ah, oh, daft. Thank you. 
<laughs> Donald Todd sang that Ken Haynes Kelly. Uh, I hope you're singing it now at my Kelly as well, Donald. <laughs> um, and I'm sure Bill, you and Bill, I'm sure you were singing along to that one as well. I've just seen the picture that Helen sent me of the useless item for the raffle. Very good. That will be getting used. Right, uh, yes, Bonnie Galawa. Terribly sorry. Uh, <laughs> Feeling Sharon. selection of sing-along Scottish waltzes. Now, as you know, as you know, um, when it comes to 11 o'clock, that's when happy hour begins. And uh, at 11 o'clock, I always make a point of saying thank you to everyone that has tuned in uh, over the last two hours. Thank you very much for tuning in to Friday Fun Night. Um, uh, yes, we're going to play O'Danny Boy. Um, Helen's heading to bed. She's got to let the posties in work at 7am. 
Um, thanks, Helen. Helen keeps me going. She sent some amazing uh, raspberry and white chocolate sponges, and I'm still eating them. I'm surprised I've actually managed this long. She sent me some wagon wheels, and the wagon wheels were along with the hint, hint, which is why you got, which is why you got wagon wheel tonight. Um, so thanks to everyone that's tuned in. If you wish to stay for happy hour, which starts at 11 o'clock, um, you're welcome to stay and join us. Uh, we'd love to have you here. But in the meantime, for those that are leaving us, we will leave you with uh, Odani Boy. I'm just... Uh, Downloading again. Um, one, one, Leaving Wick. Two step. Um, I found a great piece of kit. I found a website called Combined PDF because a lot of music arrives in two parts. Um, this is a great piece of kit that combines two bits of music together. And it saves you fiddling about for hours and hours on how to do it, as long as I get it the right way around. <laughs> there we go. Okay, oh Danny boy, thanks very much for all those that have tuned in up until this moment in time. Danny boy. Um, messages, messages, messages.
<laughs> Susan and Simon still awake. They're still here. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? They must be staying for happy hour tonight. Or as long as they can last. <laughs> it's uh, not always easy lasting for happy hour. Mabel says, happy hour when the fun begins. <laughs> Well, anything goes in happy hour, doesn't it? So we just don't know what's going to happen. Um, I just have a good time and don't worry about anything. Great to see Maureen Ritchie uh, on. Really great to see you on, Maureen. Hopefully the link all worked safely and you were able to get here. Right. Okay, here's a tune for Irene Jameson. And I'm afraid it's not the furrow's end. Hopefully going to be an attempt of the Leavenwick two-step. And then we'll do Billy Tom's reel and, and Ian McPhail's reels and everything else we've got after that. There's loads of requests. Loads of requests for happy hour. Wow. Share the video. Um, let's get 200 people for happy hour. <laughs> it amazes me each week how many people are still up at this time of night listening to music. Right, here we go.
made it. <laughs> that was written back in 1997, that tune. For John and Irene Jameson. And uh, sadly, John no longer with us, but will not be forgotten, Irene. Don't you worry. And uh, it's great to see Irene still tuning in uh, every Friday night. And uh, I don't know what your tip on tonight is, Irene. I don't know if it's a, a white wine or a gin or not, but uh, nice that you're here, and I'm glad that you asked for that. And I'm glad you sent me the music. I'm just having a wee chuckle here. We've got um, <laughs> Susan's still awake. She says happy hour. But I, I'm, I noticed the comment about Simon saying, I think I must be tired. My eyelids are meeting in the middle. We need to, right everyone, wake up Simon. Right, tonight's uh, choice of whiskey is from Barbara Herriot. Thank you very much, Barbara. I'm sure Fred and Robert will pass on my thanks. Um, Barbara, Fred and Robert used to have a wee duet, a trio called uh, Jambalaya, which you'll all know the tune Jambalaya. Um, Susan says she's ready for a dance and she's going to wake him up. In normal circumstances, I'd say pure Simon, but not tonight. Get up, Simon. Right, beer's open, whiskey's topped up. I hope you're going to top up all your drams with me, ladies and gentlemen, for a happy hour. Buna Haben and Bitter Moretti. All the bees. Right, here's a tune for Barbara Herriot. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make a quick swap here, um, just because it's happy hour, and uh, I like a wee change at happy hour. So here's Tiger again for literally about two seconds. If uh, mum could let me know if dad's still up or not.
Right. Okay, yes, I've swapped accordion, um, just because it's, uh, no, it's not another P, Fred, and the correct term is um, the heads. Right, his mum, dad is still awake, right, great. Okay, so the other night uh, on Facebook on Wednesday, I played a lot of VE Day Remembrance Sunday type music, and dad sent me some, some music, but sadly, uh, like I said, I just wasn't too happy with the sound. Uh, for some reason, it was a wee bit distorted. Um, so here we go. I'm going to do Dad's two tunes now, which, which is uh, Nightingale sang in Barclay Square. This time I can have my band back in me. <laughs> my band in a box. Yes, Tiger, if you won't buy the expensive cat food, you should <laughs> Oh, tell me. I'll tell you, Tiger gets spoiled well and truly. I think Blossom's watching over me, saying, you make sure you look after him. Right, okay. Like I said, um, I wasn't too happy with the sound of it on Wednesday. It was on a learning curve and we'll get there. But uh, here's a nightingale sang in Barclay Square, a lovely piece of music. And I know why and so do you. And Dad says, because I played it well, there's some more music in the post and I have no idea what's going to arrive. But anyway. It's your dad and mum. Mum's looking after him tonight, probably. playing the wrong chords. <laughs> we'll start that one again. Right, give me two minutes. I'm going to turn this keyboard off and back on. Isn't that just typical? <laughs> Tiger just looks up at me as if to will you be quiet, Dad? So I think it's because I swapped the box over. It would sound really awful if I left it. And I don't think we'd all have appreciated it. Half as much as what it will be. Right. Off. Off. Okay. Three chords. Two. Nearly there. Pedal. D. Marissa, this is a great piece of kit. And if you ever you're passing once lockdown's over, feel free to come and have a wee shot. But you'll probably end up going away and buying one. <laughs> They're so good. Um, and the split point down. Um, right. This should be it, hopefully. 
Sorry about that. But I'd rather do it right. Especially when it means quite a lot. Right, wheel. Right, I hope you're ready, Dad. <laughs> After that big build up. <sighs> I'm just going to check it's working. Yes, it is. Right, try again. Here we go. I'll put my comments back up so I can see you all saying, come on, get on with it. <laughs> Thank you. 
there we go. A wee medley of uh, sort of Glenn Miller, Vera Lynn, and all the other great singers there. Mm. I do plan on doing a. Here's a question for Fiona. What does SA? We, me and Mum were trying to work out chief chief of what SA. What? We couldn't work that one out. Um, hmm. <laughs> Kenneth liked that one. <coughs> you were singing along, Kenneth. <laughs> Just while I'm here. Do a wee sort of slow fox trotty type thing. Peter said, who, pil who filmed up your pint, Peter Ray says. Tiger did. He's a great cat. <laughs> How dare you, Gary says. No, I, I, honestly, I, I cannot think what it is. So, while I think about what it is, can have a swinging safari. That's called a swinging safari. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you who wrote it, though. I was actually heading to play this, but... Stores Accountant. Great. Um, see, I was getting lost, because um, I'd done... My specialisation when I was a cadet was logistics, but before that it was writer stores, but I just never heard of it. So, I'm glad you clarified that. Right, here's the crystal chandeliers. You can dance away, sing away, do, do what you like. Here we go. Fred. 
Yes, Tiger's sitting right next to me. He's uh, he's uh, chilling. That's maybe the best word for it. <laughs> oh no, Irene's internet's cutting out. I'm going to have to investigate tomorrow. Okay, uh, there's a tune there that was not done. We'll dedicate this one to Alan, Fiona's husband, Alan. Um. I wonder if I've got... Let's have a quick look here. This is a, a Mississippi dip if anyone's dancing at this time of night. I think there's a few people dancing on their own. Um, Right, okay, here we go. It's uh, in the quartermaster stores. <laughs> I'd love to see Simon dancing at this time of night. And uh, Alan's still in hospital, so sending our best wishes. There we go, uh, that was a uh, wee set of tunes there, sing along tunes. My old man said follow the ban. Uh, have a look. Hello to Reese Crawford, joined us. Uh, someone new. Anyway, uh, if you'd like a request, I'll do my best, uh, see what we can come up with. The Banks Off the Niff is. <laughs> Okay, I'll try it, see what happens. Um. <laughs> Bye. 
was close enough, Rory. Um, sorry if it wasn't. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I've not got the music for Act Like Life House by Brandon, I'm afraid. Um, Uh, a good going set of reels before I go to my bed. Well, I meant to play um, Billy Tom's reel earlier on. <laughs> See uh, one of these. <laughs> I really need to work out how to play my way, Alan. Um, I tried it the other week, but I just made a mess of it. Margaret's Walls. <laughs>
Well, I'm going to make a very special mention here to Margaret Gibb, who is still with us on Facebook right now at quarter to midnight, saying that she's at the start of her 91st year and she loves it. Um, Margaret turned uh, 90... Well, if it's the start of her 91st year. She, she had her birthday. I'm not going to get this wrong, Margaret. She had her birthday yesterday, and uh, I did mention a wee message. Yes, yeah, I'll play that at New Year's Eve, don't worry. Um, and she had her birthday yesterday, and the start of her 91st year. Give her a, give her a happy birthday, everyone. <laughs> Happy birthday, Margaret, and I hope that you had a wonderful day. Slightly worried, Mike's sent me some music here. What's this? What's that? <laughs> Blue tango. Is that that's a tango? Um, Obviously. <laughs> um, I don't know who requested this because i never seen it. Um. But we'll try it and see what happens. Blue Tango. And uh, uh, sent to me there by Mike. I don't know if I requested that. I missed that. Um, it's lovely to see all the birthday messages for Margaret. Really happy to see that. Um, okay, quick um, trip to the heads. Tiger will. Uh, oh, that's not Tiger. That's Tiger. There he is. He'll keep you right for two minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We might have to have another music a phone at one uh, midnight even.
I'm afraid, Irene, that once you get to that that age, there's my T-shirt, by the way, from Susan and Simon, best cat dad ever. Although Tiger has he evacuated the room, <laughs> and he's now sitting on the floor. Um, okay, I think uh, we'll do ten minutes more uh, music, and then what we'll do for twelve o'clock. Uh, to maybe one o'clock as we'll just play constant requests like we did last week. Is that a good idea or not? I don't know. We'll see how long we can go anyway. Lock Murray Islands. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's right. Um, so when it gets to midnight, I will play request after request after request after request, whether I know it, and we'll test the gigabytes in my head, like we done last week. I think that'll do for tonight, and then after that, I'll probably go and collapse in a heap for the night. Um, <laughs> good night, Val. Good night, Clive. Before you go, here's a wee tune for you. <laughs> Clive Butterworth, and uh, thanks again for tuning in. It's great to see so many people from all over the place tuning in, um, all around the UK and across the world. Uh, Susan's requested the next one. It's been a while since I've done this one, Susan. Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you. 
How old is Tiger? Tiger's, uh, he'll be turning eight now. Um, <laughs> Clive's staying with us, but Val's away. Um, good night, Val. Take care. Mach uh, auch Norman and Moira's had too much whiskey. Mach <laughs> auch How do you say that? What's, what's that? <laughs> Few requests for two uh, slow airs there. Uh, a shocking farewell. A shocking farewell. Was a pre-rura. I was thinking we could have started off with a run through the alphabet, starting in E and ending in Z, but I don't know any tunes beginning with X. You can think of a tune beginning in X then. X files. Do, 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 do. I don't even know that one. Um. <laughs> Zed's the last one. Zippity do does the last one. Xanadu. Um, here's one for it was James that asked for this one. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, it's 12 o'clock, so I'm going to just have a minute or two, and what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through the alphabet instead tonight. So we'll start at A, uh, so you'll need to request a tune starting with A, and then we'll work our way... No, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not start you'll have to stay to the end now, Morag, right? do you realise that? <laughs> we'll start at A, and we'll work our way to Z. Um, the Kishon Commandos be up in this today. Right, okay, so, all <laughs> so <laughs> always our guy, I don't even know. Um, I don't know if this is a really good idea or not. Um, <laughs> the first two requests are always our guy, and I don't know it. Um, <laughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? Right, because I plan on not stopping, I'm just going to keep going as much as I can. Australian ladies it is. We'll go work away from A. Good night, Peter. Peter is away to bed. Right, we'll start with A. 
Right, there's three tunes there. Oh my, there's four tunes in A now. Right, we'll start with the beginning. Night, Fred. Then we're still on B. We're still on B.
funny Steve Rory. in any flat. I have to hold on for this one.
interesting ones for you here. Elephant Stampede it is. Get that one from Rory. to listen to your music, Rory. <laughs> we might get one yet. Oh, <laughs> 
after G. Sorry, Kenneth, I can't think how that goes.
I'm next. Delights. It's time to put on music for the Muppet Show tonight. It's time to get together. It's time to light the lights. It's time to put on music for the Muppet Show tonight.
the old rugged cross, or the old accordion waltz, or the old rugged cross, or the old accordion waltz. I know that over the waves. What's after O? Oh.
Margaret is desperate for Trowy. <laughs> I say go to T, the next one after S, because all I know you're going to do is go trowy 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 trowy. Look at S. Do you know I'm never gonna live this down am I? I think even on New Year's Eve me and Dad are gonna have to sing this. Take a pity luck across the hill, runs a trowy burn. And the folk at one that dare at night see the trowies at every turn. With the beery hands and the shiny hands and the claws upon their teeth. And if you meet your neighbor man, he turns to you and says, Been a war on a trout today, you been a war on a trout. They're the vilest pest I'm ever seen, and they glove you with a bloody teen, and the worst of them is all. At the pity heft and with just the one claw, he'll clue you and give you your claws and all. You been a war on it. And the folk had one that dare at night see the trowies at every turn. With the beery hands and the shiny hands and the claws upon their teeth. And if you meet your neighbor man, he turns to you and says, You be no war on the trows that day, you be no war on the trows. They're the vilest best I'm ever seen, and they glove you with a bloody dean, and the worst of them is all. It's the pity half them with just the one claw. It clear you to be a clizzana. You be no war on a trout. Be no war on a trout. And we're not going to stop because the music's still going. What comes after T? T P Q R S T U. U. What's U? Um, U. Any tunes for you? You? Thank you. 
Now there was another one in V there. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Villa Ford. <laughs> after W. Christmas. All I can see is that X stands for this. And then we'll get to Y and Z after.
why. on Z A to Z in one hour seven minutes. That's not bad, I think. <laughs> I think that's good. I think that's quite a good effort. <laughs> um, we've got time for one more to finish off to say good night to everyone. And normally I finish with a slower song, a slower song. A show Simon's Simon's nailed it. Simon. Simon has won the last one. I'm not starting at A again, Susan. Behave. <laughs> Simon's requested the last song of the evening, and that's the A Shocking Farewell, because it is it's a shocking farewell. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I hope I've managed to play everyone's tune. It's very hard to play everyone's tune. Um, like I said, there's just so much music. So many requests coming in all the time, and 83 people are still online on, on this channel. I don't even know how many is on, on YouTube at this time of night, but... Anyway, 11 on YouTube, so that's uh, still 100 people odd watching on a Friday night at nearly half past two in the morning. So we're going to finish off, we're going to relax, we're going to unwind, we're going to get ourselves ready to just chill out 
and we'll have a really slow relaxation session here with the A Shocking Farewell. I'm going to use the last of my water with my Buna Haben and say thanks to Barbara. Buna Haben's my favourite drink, uh, favourite whiskey, favourite dram. So from me to you, thanks for staying with me. Thanks for staying with me all year. It's, uh, it really has been a pleasure. And I just hope, and I've spoken to a few musicians today, and I've mentioned about these sessions that I'm playing online, and I'm just saying I can't quite understand how there's so many people watching and so many people watching still at this time of night. And and my, my only request to him was that once this is all over, we must go out and we must support all the other musicians out there. We must go and go to... If you don't dance, go to a dance to enjoy the music. You don't have to dance. Just sit and enjoy it. Um, if you a country dance, even a country dance, you don't have to go and dance, but you can go and enjoy sitting and listening to the music. If you've enjoyed listening to the music over the last seven, eight months, then go out and please support people. I was speaking to a gentleman today, and uh, he bought out a new CD and a music book, and he's really struggling um, because he's down in the bottom of England. And um, I said that that's not fair that someone down there should be penalised for it and I am going to play over the weekend a selection of music from Ian Robertson, the great fiddle player and accordion player who's been online he's had a hand operation during Covid uh, but he's been online, he's been playing every week, he's he's doing a video every Friday, go and support him, go and buy his CD or, or his book as well and, and keep music alive because without it we're, we wouldn't be here so here we go uh, to everyone, thank you very much for a splendid night and for looking after me, because you have. You've looked after me for the last 10 months, and I appreciate it very much. So today, a shocking farewell. <laughs> today, a shocking farewell. And by the way, lockdown CD number two is on the way. And because you've stayed this much to the end, I feel that I should show you something. Now if I do this, if I do this and then do this, see you're getting a sneak preview. I did say that lockdown CD number two would be different, it wouldn't be Scottish music as such. Um, however, I'm going to show you what's on it now. And I'm not, the reason I'm not taking pre orders for it is because it gets a bit too confusing. Lots of messages start appearing, and so I'm better waiting for it to come out. But if I drag that up there, this is what's on lockdown CD number two, which is called Easy Listening. And it's uh, Island of Dreams, The Ashokan Farewell, uh, a selection of country music by Don Gibson, Annie's song by John Denver. The Fields of Half and Ride, Dirty Old Town, some tangos, Tango of Roses, Libertango, Sands of Kuwait, a selection of cha-chas, played by, uh, well, the Carpenters sung that there was a kind of hush, but also so did Herman's Hermits. Uh, Can't Help Falling in Love for You, The Band Strikes Up, Quick Steps by Irvin Burling, Passing Time, some sorteners, Going to Tennessee, Tennessee Waltz, Born to Rumba, Bessie Macho and Born Free, Another selection of tangos, story of my life, living doll, love Latin, and somewhere over the rainbow. And as soon as that gets the go ahead, I will let you know. And uh, um, like I said, it's not Scottish, it's going to be completely different. And the plan is that I wanted to do a selection of what I can play on the accordion. So it is easy listening, and I hope that you'll support it. Right, okay, we're going to finish off with. They are shocking farewell for everyone. Thanks very much. Stay safe. Enjoy your weekend. Tune in to Derek uh, if you can. Derek will be on on Sunday for the Scottish Shindig. Thanks to everyone that stayed up.
thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, yes, if you've not got PayPal, don't worry about it. If you just send me a private message, I'll either send you bank details or an address for sending a check. Um, I'd rather that people were able to enjoy the music. Yes, Tigers, Tigers Fair enjoyed himself, as you can tell. Um, um, thanks very much for tuning in. We'll finish off a uh, set of reels, because I always do. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on Monday night on Music from Scotland. And uh, things are going to be changing a wee bit of Music from Scotland, because I'm playing on Monday night. Monday night, and the following Monday night, I think. And then there's another musician on, and then... We're playing once each in December, so because it'll only be one night a week here, I'll probably change and do two nights a week here, because I like to do my two nights a week and give you all some entertainment. Uh, so thanks very much for tuning in, and uh, take care, enjoy the rest of your weekend. <laughs> Is that you? everyone for tuning in. I really enjoyed your company and I hope you'll come back on Monday for music in Scotland. Yeah, have a seven. Good night everyone. Kirby, Kirby, don't you ever do that again. Don't you walk away from me when people are sitting here looking at you. If ever you do that again, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be the frog, not the bacon. Good night everyone. Good night. God bless. <laughs> Take care. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs>